Welcome to a new week. I'm Carolyn Ribeiro with Mining.com.au's Mining Minute. The US session was mixed on Friday, while the S&P 500 and Nasdaq closed lower, the Dow rose. For the week though, the S&P 500 was near its highest close since April last year, following signs of cooling inflation, which saw gold prices linger at the highest price in a month. Meanwhile, iron ore prices rose above $111 per tonne amid hopes of stronger demand after China's metal production for June came in at the highest level since October 2020. In market news, Rio Tinto Mining and Exploration has agreed to invest $40.4 million in sovereign metals. The proceeds are set towards funding the advancement of Sovereign's Cassia Rutile Graphite project in Malawi. The strategic investment will see Rio initially take up more than 83 million shares at 48.6 cents, representing a 15% interest in Sovereign. This could increase to 19.99%, with Rio granted options to acquire 34.5 million more shares within 12 months of the initial subscription. In other news, IGO has flagged it expects a non-cash impairment of between $880 to $980 million for two assets it acquired from Western areas last year. The impairment relates to a reassessment of the accounting value at Cosmos and Forestania to reflect higher capital and operating costs, challenges to the mine production schedule and delays in development at Cosmos. The company had previously flagged it expected to record an impairment charge in its FY23 financial statements. It says this will not impact FY23 EBITDA. To Rumble Resources now, which has discovered zinc and lead mineralisation at its Erahidi project in Western Australia. The mineralisation was returned from the first five drill holes testing an area west of the Chinook deposit, now called the Mato Prospect. Geological logging indicates similarities to the Chinook, Tonka and Navajo deposits and Rumble believes there's potential for this new prospect to host a new zinc-lead sulphide deposit. That's all in today's Mining Minute. I'm Carolyn Rivera.